where do you find a fun adventure in Vietnam? Taking a boat ride through the Mekong Delta. Welcome to Laura McKenzie's Traveler. Hi, I'm Laura McKenzie, and welcome to Vietnam, a destination that's just beginning to take off. This is an incredible place for visitors. It has history. It has cultural excursions, like a cruise into the Mekong Delta to visit a floating market. It has Ho Chi Minh City with great shopping and five-star hotels, food that is the best I've had in Asia, and everything is incredibly cheap, less than half the price of Thailand. It's amazing. This is the hot spot of the future, and we're here. A whole new world awaits you in Vietnam, and Ho Chi Minh City is where it's happening. People here still call it Saigon, and both names are used interchangeably. To truly discover Vietnam, you have to appreciate its rich but turbulent past and admire the modern and fast-paced country it is today. With a population of over 5 million people, Ho Chi Minh City is the biggest city in Vietnam and the perfect setting to learn about Vietnamese culture and history. There's something for the shopper, the history buff, and the child in all of us. And wait until you see part of Vietnam's transit system. Everyone has a scooter. And I've seen up to five people stacked on the back. Incredible. The best transportation bargain in town is called the Cyclo. It's a bicycle slash rickshaw, and they'll take you anywhere you want to go for about $2 an hour. That's an incredible bargain. And you know what? They're very comfy. After doing a lot of walking around town, it sure feels good to get swept off your feet. Now this is the way to get a close-up look at just about everything that's going on in town. You'll also get a healthy dose of culture along the way. One thing that you'll notice right away is nobody drives on one side of the street or the other. They just kind of go this way, this way, right side, left side, wherever there's a space, that's where you go. There are plenty of interesting sights to see, and even though the cyclo is only built for one, you can always have a friend roll alongside of you. Now, you grew up here, you were born here? I was born here. What's it like growing up as a little kid here in Saigon? Oh, it's very peaceful, and we're always happy. And the thing is about Vietnamese, everything you see them, the first thing you see, they smile. In America, you say, hey, hi, like this, but for Vietnamese, they smile, it means they say hi. Oh, that's great. Everybody seems so happy and friendly here. It's easy to have a smile on your face when there's so many great bargains around town. Now, when we go shopping, do we have enough room for packages in here? Oh, yeah, you can put, and especially uh, if the sunny or rainy day, you can take this top, go up on the top. Oh, you can. Oh, we yeah. do. We have a cover. There's a top in Koi. Oh, it's too nice of a day today. Right on over to Dong Koi Street, a beautiful wide boulevard lined with Saigon's better shops, hotels, and restaurants. It's in a part of town called District 1, my favorite area. Here you'll find top-of-the-line boutiques like Gucci, Versace, Prada, and the ultra-hip Dolce & Gabbana. You'll see the French influence everywhere in the stunning architecture and beautiful wide boulevards left over from the colonial days. You may want to grab a bite to eat at one of the floating restaurants. Here, you can enjoy local cuisine and traditional music on the enchanting Saigon River that winds its way through the heart of the city. The river at night is truly a sight to see, with its brightly colored lights reflecting off the water. You almost feel as if you're near the Champs-Élysées in Paris. It's that romantic. If a boat ride is definitely an idea, catch it on Ton Duc Tang Street. You can book a luxurious dinner cruise for later in the evening, or take a ride on a speedboat and tour the river the jet set way. If you're looking to boogie down, get in on the nightlife at one of the many popular discotheques nearby and dance the night away. Here's a tip, make sure to bring or buy a duffel bag or suitcase as the shopping is so cheap you'll be bringing a lot home. Laura McKenzie's Traveler will be right back. Welcome back, and for more information on Vietnam, go to lauramckenzietv.com. 
shopping in Saigon is much more sophisticated than I ever imagined. But anything made locally is where to save the big bucks. From jewelry to fabrics, if it's made here, it's a steal. The best place for bargains is at the market. And here in Saigon, there are two main markets to choose from. The Bin Tan Market is the city market. When you see the big clock tower, you know you're there. This is where most visitors come away with great bargains on clothes, fabrics, fake designer bags, and anything made locally. But for the best bargains, I say go where the locals go. And for that, it's a short ride away to Ho Chi Minh City's Chinatown. The Chinese started coming here over 300 years ago, and just like any Chinatown around the world, they keep their own language and traditions. Well, Ho Chi Minh's Chinatown is known for its market right behind me, and when the locals tell me this is where they come to buy things cheap, well, I figure they must be giving stuff away. This is called the Bin Tai Market, not to be confused with the Bin Tan Market downtown, known for its Chinese architecture and amazing wholesale deals. So when, which is a better market, this one or the one downtown? This one is, I think, is to be better because it's a wholesale market. Sometimes the market from uh, Bentan market, this is Bentai is for the Chinese. Bentai and Benton. Yes, okay. and Bentan market, people like buy things from here because it's a wholesale place and bring it back to sell over there. Ah, so, that's a good to know. I would like to take three of those, two of that one, and one of those in every color. But I hear it's cash and carry but I know I'll be doing a lot of shopping here. Next stop, Medicine Street, a local shopping area for all your wellness needs. Right now we are on what's called Medicine Street, and Wynn, tell me what we do here. In Medicine Street, there are many stores like this, and you can buy a specialist store like for a, you know, a serious sickness or something. This is the convenience store, which is the name of the store and you can buy anything off the shelf and use it right away. Like 7-Eleven, you come in here. Yes, and it's all like vitamin or all like Advil, but the Chinese way. The Chinese way is a very unique form of Chinese medicine that's quite common here in Vietnam. This is for rheumatism, lumbago, sweat of limbs, so that's when you're perspiring. Yeah. Dosage twice a day, each a small cup before, before a meal. meal. Now, I would like to have a drink of that with my lunch, uh-huh. Uh -huh. That would keep you fr your body from aching. Uh -huh. Then here we have something that's got a scorpion in it, and what is this used for? It's also the same way, but depend on what type that you want to try. Uh-huh. If concoctions of wine and baby snakes make you a little woozy, you might be better off with an aspirin. Shouldn't I be looking at venom antidote, too? I did conquer one of my fears here in Vietnam, crossing the street. Here in Saigon, it's a cultural phenomenon. It's a choreographed art, and it's a little scary. Well, you just go and where you want to go, and they will find a way to avoid you. You just close your eyes and go. No, don't close your eyes. Open your eyes. You look left, right, look everywhere. OK, I'm ready. OK. Here we go. Oh my gosh, she's stepping out in front of a car, and they're honking at us. Well, they just let you know they're coming, oh but then they, you know, they stop. Why aren't we using the crosswalk? She's got my hand. Well, right here, the crosswalk, you know, they they don't know that's a crosswalk for people to walk. They don't know it's it. a crosswalk? And oh. they won't stop either. They won't stop. So you just have to go. <laughs> the secret is to keep your speed exactly the same without stopping or speeding up, so the vehicles can judge their distance from you, and most important for their timing, don't stop. There's nothing like a day trip to the Coochie Tunnels. Although it's only an hour away from Saigon, this historical and memorable trek will take you back to a time in Vietnam's history that's worlds away from the present, the Vietnam War. The entrances to the tunnels were totally hidden. In fact, you could walk around and look for them and you wouldn't find them at all. In fact, I'm standing on one right now. Look, you'd never know. We're gonna have somebody open it up for us and have a look. Look at that. This is the ventilation hole right here. Look at how tiny that is. What he's doing is he's putting the leaves back on the lid. So once he gets in, he can cover himself up. And you'll never know he went down there. 
Oh my gosh, look how tiny that is. Pretty interesting, huh? It's hard to imagine what it must have been like during war times here. And it's definitely an emotional visit for anyone who remembers the war. But if you look at the Coochie Tunnels from a historical aspect, it's something you'll never forget. Now this is one of the trenches that the Viet Cong dug to fight in. They'd fight from here, but then if the fighting got too hot and heavy, they would disappear into the hole down here, go into the tunnel, cover themselves with the lid like you saw before, and the leaves, and they'd be gone, disappeared. There's so much recent history here at the Coochie Tunnels, and so much to learn. Well, this is one of the entrances to the tunnel, and as you can see down here, it's only about eight inches tall. Now, how did they dig out these tunnels? 250 kilometers of tunnels under the ground here. They used a hoe like this, dug it by hand, put the dirt in one of these baskets, crawled through one of the tunnels to the Saigon River, which is about 500 meters that way, dumped it in the river. That's how they got rid of the dirt. This way of life went on for years, and secrecy was the key to their survival. Well, now that you know that the tunnels are here, what looks like an innocent gopher hole down here takes on a whole new meaning. That's for ventilation. You'll want to spend some time here just walking around and taking it all in. Exhibits are basic, but powerful. You'll see some exhibits of how the uniforms were made during the time, and these are kind of interesting. These are called Ho Chi Minh sandals, and they're made out of car tires. They're easy to make, easy to repair, and extremely durable running through the jungle. You'll see unforgettable demonstrations of bamboo traps. And you can even go down into a tunnel. Well, they've widened the entrance here for visitors. And once you go through, it's about double the size it used to be. So I'm going in. Ouch, I hit my head. This is no ordinary tour. It's more like you're traveling back in time. Ooh, OK. Yeah, it's pretty small. You know what, if you're claustrophobic at all, I wouldn't do it. But it's really interesting. I have to tell you, it's hot down here. Whew. I'd say it's over 100. It's an experience. The tunnels took over 25 years to construct and stretch an incredible 125 miles. Parts of the tunnels served as living quarters. Can't imagine living down there. But I did it. Here's a tip. If you see a rope hanging with a burning end, don't put it out. It's for locals to light their cigarettes. Laura McKenzie's Traveler. We'll be right back. Welcome back. And for more information on Vietnam, go to lauramckenzietv.com. So, where do you go after you've traveled through time and shopped till you've dropped? Well, if a bamboo mat and a rice paddy was your idea of a Vietnamese hotel, then get ready for the 21st century. We're off to a world-class hotel for a five-star experience, which I found at the New World Hotel Saigon. It was the first five-star hotel opened in Vietnam and has maintained that five-star award. It has won several times the Best Business Award. I found the Vietnamese people to be very gracious and hospitable, and it really shows in the way they welcome guests. Rooms and suites are beautiful and spacious, all with individual air conditioning and modern decor. The bedding is superb, and the 24-hour room service is perfect for those late-night cravings. They also have the largest swimming pool in town. Take a dip in this heavenly pool, or order some drinks and snacks at the pool bar. As the evening draws near, the temperature might cool down, but Ho Chi Minh nightlife is red hot. So get ready to overload your senses. We're going out on the town. At night, locals and tourists hit the streets for shopping, dancing, riverfront dining, and the evening breeze. The energy is amazing, not to mention the night lights and colors. And you'll be glad to know that the city is as safe as it is cheap, and a cab home from anywhere in town will cost you about 70 cents. Oh, yeah.
By morning, if you're still craving adventure, try a cruise down the Mekong Delta. This is an area about two hours drive south of Saigon that will give you the feeling of old Vietnam. There's a floating market and lots of tropical green scenery. Progress has come to South Vietnam. Those are television antennas on top of those bamboo poles. Speaking of poles, when you see a bamboo pole with a piece of fruit, like there's a watermelon over there up on the top of the pole, it tells everybody what they have for sale. That's their way of running up the flag going, watermelon for sale. Everyone has a favorite snack, and Vietnam has one that I think you'll be pretty familiar with. They make it here on the Delta from scratch. Well, we've all bought puffed rice in the grocery store, but did you ever think about how it's made? There's a Vietnamese spin on one of my favorite treats. Using a supersized wok, some sand and rice, like popcorn in a kettle. The sand is sifted out and the puffed rice is mixed with a gooey mix of coconut milk, sugar and ginger. Next, the mixture is poured onto a wooden table and rolled out into a long, tasty sheet. After the bars are cut, they're stacked and wrapped in individual wrappers. This recipe is delicious. It kind of tastes like a cross between Cracker Jacks and Rice Krispies bars. I tucked a few in my bag for later. I just had a taste. I don't want to ruin my appetite for lunch. The island's ribboned with a lot of little canals. Here's where it gets interesting. Time for a little lesson in Vietnamese cuisine. And on the Delta, if it's cooked or peeled, you can eat it. This is an adventure. So what's for lunch? Mekong prawns. Look at the size of those prawns. Wow. And next one, elephant ear fish. Beautiful. Now we're getting to the good stuff. You chop sticks, you know how to use it? It's not very well, but I'll <laughs> give it a shot. This is a clean salad we get from this area. Mm -hmm. We put at the corner of the rice paper. Some of fish at last. No scales, please. Yeah, no scale, no bones. <laughs> no bones, no scales. Oh, that's beautiful white meat fish. Like a roll, like okay. this. Mm -hmm. And this is the fish sauce with lime, garlic, hot chili, and some of sugar. It's, uh, we make it with fish sauce. And, and now it... you dip it and enjoy it. You bet I'll enjoy it. We this is my favorite, salt. though. I had this it's last night. This is salt, pepper, lime juice. You eat with the prawns. Oh, yes. You squeeze, squeeze the, the lime. Yeah. We squeeze the lime, and we mix it with the salt and the pepper, and it is so good. It's like margarita in a bowl. Yes. Now that's refreshing. And talk about refreshing, how about a relaxing sampan cruise? Supposedly the water level's a little bit low, so we're not going to get into the smallest canal, but I think we're going to see some fun stuff. There's so much natural beauty here in the Delta. It's very tropical and full of greenery. They use the leaves for animal feed. They feed the cows and the buffalo, the, the leaves. The flowers are so vivid and colorful, and water hyacinths grow all along the edges of the shoreline. She says when a man gives the water hyacinth to a lady, that means that she's his precious love. Here. Pass it along to the one you love. Ah, just beautiful. Here's a tip. Saigon has lots for kids, including river cruises, a water park, puppet shows, go-karts, swimming, cycling, and a zoo. Laura McKenzie's Traveler. We'll be right back. Welcome back. And for more information on Vietnam, go to lauramackenzietv.com. There are certainly some unforgettable moments here in Vietnam. It's an amazing destination, and one that's going to be more and more popular with visitors. It's fun, it's incredibly cheap, and the people here are genuinely happy to see you. This is one of my new favorite places, and one I'd recommend to anyone, including families. From its fabulous cities to the murky Mekong Delta, this place is magical. 
This is an amazing part of the world, and I think it's just incredible. Be sure to join me again next time from another terrific place somewhere else around the world. From the Mekong Delta, I'm Laura McKenzie. Bye-bye.